Environmental Changes, Schoology Formative Assessment. I can explore how short and long-term environmental changes affect organisms and traits in subsequent populations. Starter, researchers are studying lichens growing on trees in a forest ecosystem. At the beginning of the study, the researchers identified 12 lichen species in the forest. Later, a forest fire happened in the study area. The researchers returned to the area and found only six lichen species. Which inference is best supported from the researchers' observations? Most like lichen speci species are unaffected by the forest fire. The biodiversity in a forest increases after a fire. Certain lichen species are better adapted to survive forest fires than others. Forest fires will permanently remove certain species from the ecosystem. So here we can see certain lichen, lichen species are better adapted to survive forest fires than others. They have specific traits that allow them to adapt to that type of environmental change. A forest fire would be a short-term environmental change. So things you'll need to know for your formative assessment. Short-term or long-term changes in environments can be caused by human activities or natural processes. Short-term environmental changes can have temporary or permanent effects on organisms and populations. Human activities such as pollution of streams with fertilizer runoff can alter the pH of the water and decrease oxygen levels. Organisms that cannot tolerate these changes will die. Long-term changes generally occur over a long period of time and can, can affect traits of organisms. Human activities such as the burning of fossil fuels can add carbon dioxide to the atmosphere, causing global climate change. Climate change can alter migration patterns, resulting in some populations' inability to change behaviors as the environment changes and become extinct. Environmental change can influence the appearance of traits in subsequent generations when the surviving organisms pass on advantageous traits to offspring. So let's review this exit question. An environmental change drastically reduced the population of milkweed plants in an area. The milkweed plant provided the only source of food for a nearby population of Marnock butterfly caterpillars. Which statement the, mo which statement the most likely effect of this environment change on this population of Marnock butterflies? The number of Marnock butterflies will decrease because their caterpillars will not have enough food. The number of Marnock butterflies will stay the same because butterflies reproduce so rapidly their populations can withstand most food shortages. The number of Marnock butterflies will stay the same because their caterpillars would begin consuming nectar from different types of flowers. The number of Marnock butterflies will increase because their population rate will increase to ensure some individual survival. So what you have here is the, the number of Marnock butterflies will decrease because their caterpillars will not have enough food.